What's up guys, Chris from Softlead here, back with another tip for this week. Today we are gonna be talking about rucking. So, whether you are training for your next go ruck event, whether you're training for a selection-based military event that requires you to put a heavy pack on your back, this episode is for you. So, why do we ruck march? I spent five years in the infantry and five years in special forces. Plenty of time, probably too much time, under a heavy pack, right? And everywhere I went, it was an evaluative tool that measured my physical readiness. So here at Softly, what we want you guys to think about is rucking is an evaluative measure. It's not something that you can't do in training, but it's something that you have to do in training sparingly. There's other ways that you can get better at rucking without rucking. And that's what we're gonna go over today. So the first thing that I wanna call your guys' attention to, the first exercise that we wanna talk about when it comes to getting better at rucking is the back squat, all right? So the back squat shows up in almost, in, well, not almost, every single program that Softlead has to offer. Great for building strength in the posterior chain, that is its primary purpose. But the reason why it matters to you, especially for rucking, is really three things. One, the hips, two, the spinal erectors, and three, the hamstring muscles. When you think about how that pack actually sits on your back, your hips absorb a lot of that, which is why you guys have that big giant waist belt on your army rucksack. So we use the back squat to build this postural strength. If you notice the weight is where the weight would normally be if you're rucking, it's gonna be on your back. We'd recommend the use of a high bar back squat, which demands a little bit more of an upright torso as opposed to a low bar back squat. So when we squat, the bar's up nice and high, everything gets nice and tight and like I said, like we've done in other videos, we're just gonna ride it down, drive the knees out, keep the chest upright, and we're gonna drive right back up again. So the squat is an outstanding movement to use getting ready for any ruck event. Next, we kinda, when we look about the different aspects of rucking, right? Aside from building overall strength like we would do in a back squat, one of the things that we wanna do is build our stabilizer muscles. So to do this, we are going to use a weighted or unweighted box step up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a box. And the reason why we use a box is because unless you guys ruck just on a flat open field, which not many of you do, you're gonna encounter obstacles. And being able to balance an uneven load as you negotiate the obstacle is critical to being safe. So if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you can put one in either hand and you're gonna work on your legs one at a time or unilaterally speaking. You're gonna step up on top of the box, shift your weight slightly forward, ground your foot on top of the box by taking your big toe and driving it in as hard as you can and standing all the way up. The weight can be balanced, it can be uneven, right? Rucking is not an even sport, so therefore your training sometimes can mimic that by creating an uneven load. So, we recommend doing this light to start out with, especially if you've never done this exercise before. The last thing we're gonna talk about, really two different things, is mobilization during and after your ruck march, all right? If you guys are on a go ruck event or you guys are on a ruck march, okay, we have in our soft leap mobility kits a compression wrap as well as a lacrosse ball. If you guys take a break for five, maybe 10 minutes and your cadre lets you take your boots off or you get a moment to yourself, bust out your compression wrap and go ahead and wrap the top of your quad down to the top of the knee and go ahead and squeeze some of that junk that you've accumulated over that ruck march out. What this will do, this will help improve range of motion. It'll help improve blood flow, especially to the areas that are being used. So for those all night ruck marches that you guys go on, this is a great exercise for you. Mobilize the joint by just working it through some normal range of motion, whether that's squats, yoga poses, it doesn't matter. Last but not least, during your ruck march event, I don't know about you, but my feet hurt all the time when I was rucking, take that lacrosse ball and really get into your plantar fascia or the bottom of your feet. So take your boots off, take that lacrosse ball, put it on the ground, use your foot, push your body weight down on top of it and massage it back and forth. In a windshield wiper motion until you find a soft spot or a real tender spot, then go ahead and take your body weight and drive it onto that point until it releases. Do this for about one to two minutes. Understand you don't have forever when you're doing long distance ruck marches. However, it can really help alleviate some of the suffering of trudging through the woods or on a road all night long. 
Last but not least, post-workout mobilization, so post-ruck march. When we think about rucking, we think about where the weight sits on our back, we're talking about spinal compression, right? All that weight is pulling us down closer towards the earth. So the mobilization afterwards deals with spinal decompression. And the easiest way to do that is with a pull-up bar or any object that you can hang from. When you hang, you unload and you just let gravity do its work and takes and it pulls those vertebrae just slightly apart. All right, so for the pull-up decompression, you're just gonna go over to a pull-up bar and you are going to hang from a pull-up bar. And what we recommend is a static hang from a pull-up bar or any object that you can hang your entire body from off the ground. And you're really not gonna do this for that long. You're gonna do this for maybe a max of 60 seconds, rest for a little bit and rinse and repeat three times and you should be good to go. For more information about rucking and other tips, hit the subscribe button below. Follow us on Instagram at softleadhq, and we'll hit you with more information next week.